Hey up, folks, this is the Santi DM. Uh, on this video, I'm going to be reviewing the magic item module for Foundry VTT. Uh, what this does, it allows you to associate uh, certain features and spells to an object. Uh, so we all come across magical items in D&D where it's, when you attune to it or you have it equipped, it says you gain access to this spell or this ability. This is the way of doing this sort of thing. So first of all, let me show you the config configuration so I can speak. So magic, quite simple, uh, identified. So this allows you, so you can make it so that um, players can only see the abilities once they've been identified and you had a tab from them. So they can't see what the settings for the tab are. So let me show you how it works. So I've got one here. Um, I'll just close that again one second. Uh, I probably should say, uh, anyone who's playing Curse of Strahd, this may be a minor spoiler for an item. Uh, so if you don't want to watch it, not the video for you, I'm afraid. If you do, watch your own risk. Uh, so this is a magic item from the Curse of Strahd campaign. So if I go here, it's not me tick, unticked. So the first thing you'll see is this magic item tab. And then is it a magic item? Yes, it is. And here are the bunch of options you have for it. Let me expand this out slightly. So first one, quite straightforward. Uh, this determines how the effects are used. So just having it, is that enough? Or does it need to be equipped? Uh, on mine, I want it to be equipped and attuned. How many charges? So on this one, it's 10 charges. And this is, you can do it by per item or by spell. So if you want something to have a limited number of spells uh, before it crumbles, you can do that. It's easy to do with this module. Uh, next one, not applicable in this sense in this item, but to show you what it does, um, quite straightforward. Once it reaches zero charges, uh, do you destroy it or is it destroyed in a one, such as the one to fireballs, for example. Once I get to zero, one, once you get to once you get to zero, roll d20 on a one, it's destroyed, or you just come and nerd to replace it. So I'm going to untick that. This one is rechargeable. Here you can pick how it recharges. So numeric, so a flat number, so recharges two per day. A formula, formula. Um, so which is what mine's going to be. Um, so example, d6 charges per day and then full self-explanatory. So mine is 1d6 plus 4 and this recharges at dawn. So you can do it daily, dawn, sunset, short or long rest. So I'm going to do dawn. See here. So you now have this option here. This is where you drag your spells or features that you want to give to this magic item and you also get to determine how many resources um, or charges it uses. So I have three abilities here for this. So Sunlight, Turn Undead, and Turn Vampire. So Sunlight will consume five charges. Turn Undead will consume three charges. And Turn Vampire, one. And that's pretty much it. It's a very straightforward item. Uh, so let me show you it in action. Action human. So go to Johan, drop it on his character sheet. So the first thing you'll see here, um, you can see this little icon tells you it's a magic item. And this little icon, I think, is kind of it's part of the module or if it's part of tidy sheets that tells you two minutes is required. So we will equip the item, item first of all, and then we will tune to the item. Let me break achievement first. So you can see I'm equipped. If we go to my features tab, there's nothing there. You can't access it. But the moment you attune to it, just like magic, here we go. So you can see here, uh, it tells you what magic item you've got, 10 charges, when it recharges, what the features all do, and you can do the usual thing. Um, you can see what they all I'm not sure we'll let you show you, show you actually show you what you do. Um, either way, we'll show you these in effect and I'll show you what happens when it recharges and stuff. So, first things first, make sure it's all selected. So, my sunlight ability does that. If I scroll down, 
See, taking off, take off five charges, turn and dead, same thing, and then finally ten vampire. So over that, close that. So you can see here, got sunlight, got ten and dead, and ten vampire. And then what we need to do? So if we go back to the item now, we'll see it's empty. It's got one charge. It's pretty much empty. To replenish this, it's a rest. Uh, so mindset to dawn. So obviously, if I make sure this is tick, it says new day. There we go. Look, that's better. So we charge this by three plus four, seven charges. All the way down. It is now full. And yeah, it's kind of it. Uh, that's the module in a nutshell, sure really. Um, like I said, it is useful. It shows you a little icon quickly, so you can see what's a magic item. Um, you don't have to have it for the um, features. If you don't want it to show that, if you don't want to assign a feature or a spell to it, you don't have to. You can literally just mark it as being a magic item. That's what I do with some of them. So like Wonder Smiles, for example, I just mark it as a magic item. Simple as that. Um, so necklace is similar. You see they're all done. Um, but let me show you one with like a spell attached to it. Uh, go runestone. So you see here, I've just attached a simple spell. Um, which charges once per day. It uses once per day. So when you put a spell on there, you can determine what level the spell is cast at. Excuse the module. I think it kind of take a lot of the colour out on some of them, which is a bit infuriating. You can determine how many um, charges it consumes and if it can be upcast. And then how much it costs per level. And also you can set a DC, so on this one, so if I say DC for this is always going to be 13. Whenever this spell is cast, this be, this will always use that. So let me just try so that's room of the stars. Uh, skies. So if you equip it, there you, go, you can see there. So features, um, so any special features you make, uh, feats and so forth, will go into this one. Uh, any spells go into this page. See here, so we've got runestone and skies, and also he's got another item attached. Necklace and Noid. As uh, so it tells you here, one charge recharges daily, and it tells you all this stuff here. So you can't upcast the items. Same as one. Oh well. Uh, but you can see on this one, I've done it on there. So shield being cast separately. See that shield has now expended that, and this recharges after a long rest. Um, this is where it shows there. But yeah, uh, that's the module itself. It is quite straightforward. It's useful for keeping items identified easily. So if you go in here, I can quickly look at them and go, okay, it's got quite a few items. See, I set it for spell scrolls as well. So obviously like scrolls and stuff make it easy, but you can see quickly, oh, that's a magic item. Cool, okay. Uh, and they can see these attunement slots, which I think are part of tidy sheets. I'm not entirely sure, but they are there. Um, the identified stuff works quite well. Let me just go to edit item. So if I go on here and go on, it's not identified. See here, it doesn't show. Because the item itself says it has to be identified. So he can attune to it. But it's uh, not going to be there. And that's that option in the um, options menu. You can determine to say like there have to be identified items. It means you can kind of keep little things from players. So again, if I go identified, and go back. It's now showing. Uh, so yeah, quite a quick video. Uh, short little module. Uh, really useful module. I love using it. It works quite well in tandem um, with another one, uh, which I might do in a later date called an identified. I think. Um, but they kind of work together, so you can combine a magic item and hide it from being played until they identify it, and then they get access to all of the features. Really quite cool. Anyway, um, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the module. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, um, comment, tell me if you like this, anything you want to see, anything you think you'd do better. Uh, always want to learn and listen to people. But thanks a lot for watching and um, cheers. Have a good day. Bye.